Good day, everyone. I am here today to explain to you about discriminants and nature of roots, solving quadratic equations, and sum and product of roots. And these topics are aligned to our module in Lesson 2, Week 3, Task 3 and 4. The expression b squared minus 4ac is the quadratic equation's discriminant. We are given the formula d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. The discriminant determines the nature of the roots of the quadratic equations. Now, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the roots are real and equal. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then the roots are real and unequal. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then the roots are not real. We are given task 3a, which is aligned in our module. We need to find the value of a, b, and c. So given quadratic equation, x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. The value of a is 1, b is equal to negative 7, c is equal to 10. Our discriminant, which is equal to b squared minus 4ac, Finding the value, we have to substitute first the value of b, which is negative 7, the value of a, which is 1, and the value of c, which is 10. So, preparing these equations, we will arrive with the square of negative 7, which is 49, and the product of negative 4, 1, and 10 is negative 40. So we have D is equal to 49 minus 40, which is equal to 9. Therefore, if D is greater than 0, so our roots are real and unequal. Now let's proceed to example number 2. We have here 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. Again, our value for A is equal to 4, B is equal to 12, and C is equal to 9. So discriminant is equal to B squared minus 4AC. Substituting the value of A, B, and C, we have 12 squared minus 4 times 4 times 9. Simplifying, we have D is equal to 144 minus 144, which is equal to 0. Since our D is equal to 0, so the roots are real and equal. Now, let's proceed to example 3. We are given here X squared plus 10 is equal to 0. Finding the value for A, which is equal to 1. B, which is equal to 0 because we don't have a term with a linear degree. And C is equal to 10. Now, for discriminant, we have B squared minus 4AC. Again, substituting the value of A, B, and C, we will arrive with the value of this discriminant, which is 0 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10. Simplifying, we have D is equal to 0 minus 40. And 0 minus 40 is negative 40. Since our D or discriminant is less than 0, the roots of the quadratic equation are not real. Now, let's proceed to example 1, lesson 2, task 3B, wherein we are asked to give the value of A, B, and C, determining the nature of the roots, and finding the sum and product of roots. 
Now, we are given the quadratic equation written in its standard form. We have n squared plus 2n plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, to solve for the roots of this equation, we use factoring method. So, we factored n squared plus 2n plus 1, which is, or which are, n plus 1 and n plus 1 equals 0. Using the zero product property, we equate each factor to zero. So we have n plus 1 is equal to zero, and n plus 1 is equal to zero. Using the addition property of equality, we arrive with the value of n which is equal to negative 1, and the other one is also negative 1. Now, for finding the roots, so we already have negative 1 and negative 1. So if you notice, we have same roots or equal roots. Now, for the sum of roots, we have negative 1 plus negative 1, which is equal to negative 2. And for the product of the roots, we have negative 1 times negative 1, which is equal to 1. If the question asking directly for the sum of roots and product of roots, we may have a shortcut. So the formula for finding the sum of the roots is negative b over a, or negative b divided by a. And for the product of roots, we have c over a. Of course, we have to find the value of a, which is equal to 1, the value of b, which is equal to 2, and the value of c, which is equal to 1. Substituting these values, let's have first for the sum of the roots, we have negative b over a equals negative 2 divided by 1 or over 1, which is equal to negative 2. Now, for the product of the roots, we have the formula c over a, which is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. Now, for example number 2, we are given equation x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. So it is also written in its standard form because we have ax squared minus c equals 0. Using the extracting the roots for our method to find the value of x, or the value of the roots. So we get the square both sides of x squared equals 16. So the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 16 are positive and negative 4. So the value for x is equal to 4 and the value of x is equal to negative 4. And we have these roots, which are 4 and negative 4. So finding the sum of the roots, so 4 plus negative 4, it is equal to 0. And product of the roots, 4 times negative 4, which is equal to negative 16. So again, the sum of the roots is equal to 0. And the product of the roots is equal to negative 16. Now, if we are directly asked to give only the sum of the roots and the product of the roots, so we may use the formula negative b over a and c over a. Substituting the value of a, which is equal to 1, b is 0, and c is equal to negative 16. So we have the sum of the roots, which is equal to negative b over a. Substitution, we have negative 0 over 1. Take note, class, that in integers, 0 is neither positive nor negative. That's why even if we have negative 0 divided by 1, it is still 0. And the product of the roots, we have the formula C over A. This is equal to negative 16 over 1. And negative 16 divided by 1 is equal to negative 16. 
Now, we have this learning task 4 wherein the given task is solving the problem by applying the sum and product of roots of the quadratic equations. For example, a rectangular fish pond lot has an area of 32 square meter and a perimeter of 24 meters. Find the dimension of fish pond lot. Now take note that we have to consider two formulas. We have the perimeter which is equal to 2 times the quantity of L plus W and the area which is equal to length times width or LW. Now from the given problem, we have the perimeter which is equal to 24. So substituting this to our formula, we have 2L plus 2W is equal to 24. We arrive with 2L plus 2W simply because we distribute 2 to each term of the L plus W. Now for area, we have LW is equal to 32. And 32 is a given from the problem. Now, for these solutions, we have to divide both sides by 2 in our first formula to get the value of L plus W. So, 2L divided by 2 is L plus 2W divided by 2 is W and 24 divided by 2 is 12. So, therefore, L plus W is equal to 12. Now, using L plus W is equal to 12, solving for L, we use addition property of equality. So, we will arrive with the value of L, which is equal to 12 minus W. Now, substitute L is equal to 12 minus W for L in our formula in area, which is LW is equal to 32. So it will become 12 minus W times W is equal to 32. Simplifying the equation by distribution property, we will have 12W minus W squared equals 32. So using addition property of equality to make the right side of the equal symbol equal to 0, we have negative W squared plus 12W minus 32 is equal to 0. And we write it in a standard form. And because we have a negative for the value of A, to make it positive, we have to get the opposite of this equation by multiplying negative 1. So negative here means we need to multiply the equation by negative 1. So we will arrive with the product which is 2 w squared, sorry, minus 12w plus 32 is equal to 0. Now we have to factor these quadratic equations. So we have w minus 8 times w minus 4 equals 0. So using the zero property, so we will equate each factor to 0. So we have w minus 8 is equal to 0 and w minus 4 is equal to 0. Using the addition property of equality, we will arrive with the value of w which is equal to 8 and w which is equal to 4. So now, we may consider the value of the which, which is 4. And find the value of L from this equation. So L is equal to 12 minus W. So then, substitution for the value of W, which is 4. So we have 12 minus 4. And the value of the length is equal to 8. So if you notice, this 8 is the same with the value of this width. Okay, so it will be now for the 
length of the fish pan. So to check if our answer is correct, so we are given the formula for the perimeter, which is 2L plus 2W. So we have 2 times 8 plus 2 times 4 is equal to 16. 2 times 8, 16, plus 2 times 4, 8. And 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. So therefore, 24 is correct based in the given problem. Now, for the area, we have this formula, length times width. So we have 8 times 4, which is equal to 32. And based in the given, the area of the fish pond is equal to 32. So therefore, the dimension of the fish pond is 8 meters by 4 meters. Or we can say that we have 8 and 4. Or by meter. Thank you for watching and learning with me. God bless.